close your eyes and watch your breath. And watch your mind watching your breath. Make sure it doesn't wander off someplace else. You want to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. If any other thoughts come up, you don't have to get engaged with them. You don't have to pay them any attention at all. You don't have to chase them away. It's like someone talking in the other corner of the room. You've got your work in this corner of the room, and you just focus on your work, and they can talk as much as they want. You don't have to pay them any attention. It's when you start paying them attention, chasing them down, that's when you've lost your topic of meditation. So just let them chatter away, but you stay with the breath and try to be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And again, each time it comes in, each time it goes out, you want to really stick with this. This is how you succeed in anything, is quality of persistence. You stay with something, you don't abandon it, and send that it has a chance to grow. Otherwise, it's like planting a tree. You plant the tree and you water it today, but then you forget about it and you come back in two or three weeks, ah, oh, it's dead, so you plant another one. But you forget to water that one, that one gets dead. You keep this up and you just have a line of little dead trees. You never get the shade or the fruit or whatever you want out of the tree. You take one tree and you plant it and you water it and you look after it day after day after day. In the beginning it doesn't look like much. It looks pretty small. You can't imagine how it's going to have leaves or anything. Then the sprout has a leaf and then finally grows. And eventually you get the tree that you want. So you have to take care of what little concentration you have, what little bit of mindfulness you have. Because it's the little bits that, when they develop, can grow into large bits. It's not like you throw away the little bits and something large will suddenly appear. You have to take care of the little ones first. So take care of the details of your mind. As soon as it slips off a little bit, bring it right back. Slips off a little bit again, you bring it right back again. Don't let it go wandering away. If it has wandered away, we'll just drop whatever it is and you'll be right back at the breath, because this is the natural home base for your mind. It's just that we've trained the mind to be interested in things outside to the extent that we've forgotten our own breaths. So here's a chance to get back in touch with something that's actually really close to your mind. It's not far away. You don't have to think of, about something on the other side of the world. Just be right here with what you've got right here. And nurture it. Let it grow. Be persistent in what you do. As the Buddha said, it's where, wherever there's persistence, that's where there's success. And this is how we overcome suffering. It's through our persistence. If we decide we're going to work a little on this, and we drop it and run away for a while and then come back again, it doesn't have a chance to grow when we've dropped it. It grows, grows only when you look after it. So care for it. Don't push it too much. If you push it too much, it's like planting a tree and then trying to make it tall by pulling on it. All you end up doing is uprooting it. So again, just nurture it and it'll grow. And this way the mind develops a center inside that becomes its home base, its, its home territory, and where it really belongs. And that way you have a home wherever you go. You have the shade of your tree wherever you go. You carry it with you. That's how good things develop in life. It's through our persistence and our care, taking care of the little things. And then the big things grow from that.